Hey guys, Paul here with Late Night Games. It is Monday, April 1st, 2013, and the first day of Vita. So, uh, let's hope I can come up with uh, enough to talk to you guys about for the rest of the month. I'll get started today with just uh, catching up on what happened over the weekend. So, I talked to you guys on Friday. Uh, we went over the channel a bit. Told you about my adventures with uh, driving a bunch of uh, students home. Now, what I didn't mention was that about a week and a half ago, I got hit by a chunk of ice while driving. Not me personally, my car. I I'm fine. But the side of my car got uh, smoked pretty bad, and a chunk of paint about two inches by three inches round chunk came flying off the side of the car. Big chunk of paint, bare exposed metal, which in Canada weather rusts really fast. Now, since it's my winter beater, I could have just let it rust out and not cared at all about it. But I'm not going to do that, because I'm not going to let my car rust apart. That's not the type of guy I am. It's just not my way of the ninja. So I took it upon myself to do a little bit of repairs. Now, I am by no means a professional, but it's not that hard to splash a little bit of paint on a car. Now, I could have gone the route that my grandfather worked. Bless his heart, he's one hell of a mechanic, but... He paints it with the uh, the care of, oh, he, he took up my mother, a little bit of backstory. My mother ended up, while driving to New York where my grandfather lives, he's in uh, near Manhattan, she ended up going off the road, knocked off the road by a transport truck. We all know the, how that feels most likely, and if you do, it's terrifying. Um, and ended up hitting a whole bunch of hollow divider poles. Just those plastic ones, not the ones filled with concrete. And they just started smacking off the front of her truck. No real damage except for the paint was all messed up. So her and he just uh, took some black paint and a paintbrush and slapped it back and forth. That's not the way I'm going to do it for my car because I don't want the brush strokes. Not that I can get a perfect paint job anyways, but I'm at least going to try. So I started with a little bit of washing the area down making sure it's nice and clean and once it was nice and clean where i needed to work i started with some sanding so i sanded down the rust until she's some nice bare metal and once the bare metal was exposed and i got the separation between the paint and the metal as smooth as i could get it by hand i took a spray can full of primer uh, filler primer particularly so it fills in the gaps nicely and i gave it a quick coat and once the primer was nicely coated on there, I let it dry for about six hours or so, gave it another sand down, and rinse and repeat, until eventually you get the final coating of primer that you want. And I went out, got the proper color match, looked up the color code online, and started blasting it with the white. And after about a coat or two of white, you get with a color that looks similar to the car. Heaven to Betsy, who thought color match would match in color. Now, I do still need to take another couple cracks at it. It's not quite done at this point. Um, I need to sand the thing first again, because there are a few streaks. Also, there's one point where the nozzle fell out of the spray can, and it just splattered. So I'm going to sand all those off, get it nice and smooth again, and then maybe hit it with another two coats of the white. Um... The best part about this, because I am painting it myself, if I screw it up, just sand it and try again, and sand it and try again. I'm not really going to cause any permanent damage to the car that I can't sand off and try again. What the hell are you doing back there, cat? What the hell? Sorry about that. My cat just started attacking everything. I think she wants to be fed. So, I'm going to let you guys go. Um, really, aside from... Uh, Fixing the car, there wasn't anything major that happened this weekend. Had a friend over for a while, played some video games, played some games with my brother, watched the kick-ass movie again just because it's kick-ass. Ate food. Nothing really that exciting. Most of the uh, weekend went towards working on the car whenever there's product. Oh wait, I also helped someone move yesterday. That's why yesterday I don't remember much of because most of it was eaten up by helping someone move. Actually, only about three hours was eaten up by helping someone move. But that was three hours during the middle of the day. And then when I got home, I didn't feel like doing anything. And before leaving, I didn't really have time to do anything. So, yeah, helping someone move I ate a chunk of my Sunday. But I hope everyone had a good Easter. Um, I hope my 
title about EA's takeover of Nintendo didn't scare anyone. That was an April Fool's joke started by Game Facts, uh, which I thought was just awesome. But we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. Take care of yourselves.